Hello, I'm Dino and welcome to a Limitless Hair Expert video. Today's video is about when does your hair mature and what happens after that. Now, this is an interesting subject. I want everyone to know that your hair matures from really sort of childhood. It's maturing from when you're young. Maturing means changing, all right? Getting to its maximum point. When you're about anywhere between 15 years old and 18 years old, that's when your hair matures, meaning it's become, it's become its fullness at that time. It's become the color that it is in most cases. It's matured. So hair doesn't mature until the ages of 15 years old to 18 years old. Now, here's what you should know about that. Under that age, your hair is in a process of maturing. Because of that, it is delicate, all right? So what that means is somebody under the age 15, especially younger, 10, 9, 8, 7, all right, their hair is maturing. It hasn't fully developed. That's important to know. So what does that mean? It means be careful. Don't braid a child's hair tight where it's stretching because what that can do is something called retard the growth. Retard the growth means it could cause an effect on the growth on the actual hair bulb that can cause the hair bulb either not to grow or the hair to fall out sooner in life or it can cause the hair follicle to not grow to its normal level or its normal length, okay? So that's what retard the growth means. It means it disturbs the natural growth pattern of the hair if you pull the child's hair too tight with any sort of tight braid or tight ponytail. So please be careful of that. Also, kitty perms, coloring a child's hair. You really shouldn't do that because under the age of 15, especially younger, it's more risky. You do any type of kitty perm, you do any type of hair color, you know, it's, you're risking damaging their hair technically for life. So please be aware of that, all right? Now, after the age of about 15 to 18, your hair matures. What happens after 18, usually your hair starts going in the other direction. Usually people start losing hair after the age of 18. Now, some people hold on to it, all right, a majority, maybe from 18 to like 25, but then especially after that, you start losing it. Now, even with people, let's say like Ronald Reagan that had a full head of hair into his 80s, he still lost hair. He still had more hair when he was younger. It's just that his thinning process was much slower, very, very slow, where you couldn't even notice anything. But with other people, after that age, somewhere around 18 to 25, you do start losing your hair. It's a normal aging process. It's just that with some people, some people lose a lot of hair and some people use a minimum amount of hair. So it varies with each individual. So please be aware of that, all right? So our quote for today is long-term perspective will make your future much sweeter while creating a legacy. What does that mean? That means you should think as much as possible long-term. The more you think long-term, the more you can plan out your future, right? It's intelligent and very effective to think long-term. The more you plan out long-term, you eventually will be in your future and you can create a much better life for yourself, even as far as a legacy. So it's good to plan out as far out into the future. Now, life is what I call a bifocal situation. You should always look at the present, okay? And you should always look into the future. And you always want to plan your future. Plan goals. Plan out to the future. Have some place to reach all the time. Even if you don't make it, you keep planning. So please remember, long-term perspective is very important. Now, please watch our next video. Our next video will be how to achieve the most subtle transformation. And I'll see you soon.